Welcome to GoTV. I'm going to take you through a setup of GoTV on a brand new Fire Stick. If you already have the downloader app on your Fire Stick, you may be able to skip a couple of these steps, uh, but let's get started. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the magnifying glass and find the downloader app. If you put in a D, it'll be the first one that comes up and you're going to download it. It's installing and installed quite quickly. Now we have to enable the Downloader app. After we go into it, we're going to hit the home button on the Fire Stick remote um, just above the play below um, all the, the circle and that'll bring us back to our main page. We're going to go all the way to the right to the gear and then go down into my fire TV and we're going to click on about seven times. We're going to first time we click it it's going to bring us here and then we're going to just going to keep clicking it until you have no steps and you're already a developer. You're going to click back once and then go to developer options, down to install unknown apps, and turn that on. Now we're able to download GoTV onto the Fire Stick. We're going to click the home button again to bring us back to the main page. And go all the way to the right, three squares plus, and we're going to open up that app, the downloader app, now that it's enabled. Now, the downloader code for GoTV is 2386637. And I'll tag that in the video as well. You're going to hit go, and you're going to let it run through the redirect and the upload. Now that it's connecting, it's going to upload. This should take maybe 10 to 30 seconds, depending on how fast your internet is. Once it's down upload, done uploading, it's going to ask you to install, and you're going to click install. Now you're going to click done, and then you're going to get rid of these files. You don't need them. So you're going to click delete and delete. After this, you're going to hit the home button again, which will bring you right back to your main page. You're going to go all the way to the right after that, click the three squares plus, and you're going to find the app that you just downloaded, which is the GoTV app, and we're going to move it to front. So we're going to hit the three lines on our Fire Stick remote, which will bring up options on the bottom right corner, and we're going to hit move to front. Now we're going to open up GoTV, and at this point, you should see the screen here. We're going to add a playlist, GOAT TV VPN, and we're going to put in the credentials that were sent in the welcome email. If you have multiple devices, you're going to put one credential on each device or connection. So I'm going to put this in quickly. And then after you put the username in, you're going to hit next and you're going to put in the password. Okay, 
and you're going to double check everything to make sure you put it in correctly and then you're going to hit next. Now it's going to process. If you did put it in correctly, it'll say error. Just go back and check whether it was a user or the password. If you miss a, miss a letter or a number, um, it's, easy to, it's easy to do, um, but don't get, uh, don't get too upset about that. Now we're going to click done after it says playlist is processed. This should take about 30 seconds to a minute, again, depending on how fast your internet is. And once it's done uh, uploading, it's going to redirect right into the app. Alright, so we're all good here. So we're going to click the back button. Uh, beside the left side of the house and that'll take us here now we're going to go all the way to the left and then go down to settings and we're going to go to playlist go tv vpn and then we're going to update the intervals in which they update um, so what this does is for every eight hours the playlist is going to update or when it's on app start we put content on here hourly daily um, so you always want to stay up to date. Um, we're going to go back twice, go to EPG, and do the same thing. And this is your guide. So to make sure this is always up to date. Now everything is set up here. You'll see your guide is starting to populate. Um, the TV is first, and then you have your, you're going to have all your categories, then movies and shows. Um, I hope that helps. Have a great day.